मोहम्मद अली जिन्ना फियर ऑफ लिविंग एज अ माइनॉरिटी इन इंडिया गेव बर्थ टू द आइडिया ऑफ पाकिस्तान हिज विजन वॉज एंट वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ही वॉन्टेड अ सेक्युलर स्टेट विथ मुस्लिम इन मेजोरिटी बट पाकिस्तान इज अ मियर शैड ऑफ वॉट इट्स फाउंड अ विजन द कंट्री टू बी आफ्टर थ्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूशंस न्यूमरस डिक्टेटर्स एंड मिलिट्री कूज ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ सेवन डेकेड्स पाकिस्तान इज बेरली अ डेमोक्रेसी दैट इज समवॉट सर्वाइविंग एन इकोनॉमिक मेस इन ब्रूइंग पोलिटिकल इनस्टेबिलिटी but was the country doomed from day 1 at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps india will awake to life and freedom In 1924, Lala Lajpat Rai became one of the first people to talk about the bifurcation of British India. In an article published in the Tribune on 24 December of the same year, Rai said there is a possibility of four Muslim states in Northern Frontier, Western Punjab, Sindh, and East Pakistan, all of which eventually became Pakistan. He was also very specific that a bifurcation of any kind would mean an end to United India. In a 1933 pamphlet the term Pakistan was used for the first time asking for a region comprising of present day Pakistan and the Indian Union territory of Kashmir to be bifurcated from British India the mention went almost unnoticed among political circles but it had instilled the idea of a separate muslim nation among the all india muslim league members in 1937 congress won a bunch of seats in the provincial elections which made the muslim league do a study of how muslims will be treated in india that was widely dominated by congress and they weren't happy after congress protested the move to involve india in world war 2 without consulting indians the muslim league supported the british and earned an statue for jinnah equal to gandhi in a 1940 speech by jinnah in lahore the two nation theory was coined and thus began the story of pakistan we know today British offered Indian leaders a choice to become a dominion state after the war in return for their support. The offer had no mention of Pakistan, so the Muslim League rejected it instantly. By this time, Congress had developed a nationalist ideology around Gandhi's principles, and thus they rejected it as well. The demand for Pakistan saw riots and killings across the country. Britain had to devise a cabinet mission to negotiate between the political parties in India. as they didn't want to partition the colony the cabinet mission scheme proposed a federal state which had hindu and muslim dominated states with reasonable autonomy but under one central government the proposal didn't go down well with either side nehru preferred to let partition go through rather than have a decentralized india and jinnah was adamant on having a separate country altogether finally lord mountbatten was appointed as the last viceroy of india to ensure a smooth withdrawal He was instructed to avoid partition but also given the authority to make his own decisions. Eventually, Mountbatten decided that partition was necessary for peace, but he also made sure to make Pakistan as small as possible because Nehru wanted the rest of India to be united. Mahatma Gandhi never wanted India to be divided and stayed away from the process trying to stop riots across India. Cyril Ratcliffe drew a couple of lines dissecting Punjab and Bengal and India and Pakistan were formed. displacing an estimated 20 million people and kickstarting the largest mass migration in human history a large number of people were killed in the riots following the migration which mountbatten had promised he won't let happen but the british were done and dusted by now pakistan was a weird anomaly in geographical terms west pakistan was a different country altogether and east pakistan which is now bangladesh became an administrative nightmare East Pakistanis were never considered to be at par with the citizens of the west they spoke a different language which made it worse in the initial years the country did better than india economically as it took longer for india to settle down but the administrative mistakes came back to bite the country in 1958 as a military coup then the war with india in 1971 resulted in the liberation of east pakistan which became bangladesh Pakistan was never meant to succeed as Jinnah's view of a secular nation wasn't what the people wanted the elite of the Muslim League lacked a connection with their people and to build that connection they took the common path of religion which disturbed the very foundation of the country 
Pakistan is an Islamic country today which has a heavy military influence in governance thanks to the strengthening of military over the years just to fight proxy wars in Kashmir the country portrays itself as a part of the middle eastern ideology which pulls it further apart from the reality an obsession with outdoing india has made them a geopolitical pawn of china a debt ridden economy thanks to a series of corrupt politicians at the helm has ripped the country apart the muslim league fought hard for a line to be drawn but when the line has been there for 7 decades all it does is display two very different sides of the subcontinent a few years before partition a theory did the rounds across the world it stated that the people of the subcontinent aren't distinctive by race color or language but by religion the theory went well with pakistan which saw its hindu and sikh population dwindle over the years but it didn't work for india as the country produced back to back politically elected leaders and a good number of political parties to represent the diversity of the nation there can be different opinions on the partition some might say it was a necessity some say it shouldn't have happened the fact that you have the right to express your opinion is what makes india different from pakistan a secular country doesn't mean to undermine religions or groups it means to hold hands and walk together towards the prosperity of the nation leaders of pakistan never understood this but indians did thus pakistan was doomed to be what it is today make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to wisplash as we have a lot more coming in the future thank you for watching